Hey, what's going on, my divine feminines? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So let's see what this message is looking like for y'all today. Don't forget, flip, mm, look, flip your roles. Don't forget, um, the spirit of discernment. Every divine feminine is on a different stage of their journey. So you want to take what you need and leave what you don't need. Also, encourage you to face your mirror if you are triggered by anything that I say in this video, okay? Um, hopefully, I can get this all done in one part. But however, if not, stay tuned because it will be two parts. All right, so I'm just warning y'all ahead of time, okay? But um, the card that just came out was um, Fatima. And this is, um, love is my lineage and gratitude is my... <laughs> religion <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i looked at it and completely like forgot what it said that was funny all right so fatima fatima Let's see Let's see if i can find this real quick y'all bear with me 60 all right so what it says is take the page we can get caught up in the ego's idea of who we need to become or what we need to achieve. Fatima is the grace that sweeps through our seemingly complex lives and reminds us of what, what's core, what's solid. Family. Even if family means a few beloved friends. What matters most is the love and gratitude we bring to those who are there for us and the love and gratitude we feel when they show up for us. Nurturing, protecting, and taking care of the ones we love is a sacred occupation. My great-grandmother, Big Margie, advised me that if I ever had children, I need to make sure I got paid for it. I had no clue what she was talking about. The idea was so foreign. Big Margie believed that women should have a wage for the time that they spend raising their children so that their work would, at last, be valued. The role of a housewife or a stay-at-home mom is sacred if it is consciously chosen. It is a profound contribution to raise and reconstitute the world. There is a legacy of love that can be inherited by the whole family from such undivided attention and presence. Fatima restores the significance and importance to the spiritual path of motherhood. She is also a call to step back, take a deep breath, and take inventory of how much you can be grateful for right now in this moment. She releases you from unreal expectations of yourself. Whether you have mothered a child, a friend, or yourself, she helps you see, again, the vital role the nurturer provides. She, all, she offers the perspective that says love is the family we all belong to, and gratitude is the state of wealth we can get to live in. So what are you most grateful for in this moment, Divine Feminine? Okay, so remember that love is your lineage and gratitude is your religion. So I'm going to pull tarot so we can see what this is about. All right, so... Why did this card come out for my Divine Feminine today? Eight of Pentacles. Ooh. You've been putting a lot of work, a lot of your time. You got so much going on. I feel like you got your hands in many pots. <laughs> a lot of opportunities. You may um, be helping a lot of people. And... The Knight of Cups comes in a reverse. There may be one in particular. I feel like you do a lot. And what keeps standing out to me on the Seven of Cups is the heart, right? That's that love for the family. You might got a lot of love for this particular uh, young masculine energy. Yeah, I feel like that's a, a younger masculine energy. Could be um, your son or um, a child you're helping to raise. Tell me more. Two of Cups comes out in the reverse. So sometimes it may be some disharmony between you and this um, and this child or this child came out of another situation. Hmm. You get ready to get your flowers for something. Six of Wands. 
I feel like you made a choice to, to help here. Four cups in the reverse. Like you got the clarity about um, or the awareness about helping a child, a younger masculine energy. Okay. And how I'm seeing it is like your community, like they're so grateful for you because it's like you decided to hey, help this person or help. I don't know how this is coming together, but you're helping a child. This is a, tell me more about this masculine, this Knight of Cups reverse. The star card comes out. Why did that star card come out? And the emperor. <laughs> it's so crazy because some of the stuff that pops in my head, y'all, <laughs> like, it's like this child came from the stars. Yeah, we know this child came from the stars, literally. This could be your divine masculine child. It may not be, uh, it may not also be a, um, uh, a boy. I definitely, I just keep, I just keep seeing, a, a, I don't know, I keep seeing a younger, um, masculine child like i said this may be your divine feminine's child it's like this child was brought to you yep five of swords is in the reverse position yeah because whatever happened it feels like a third party type situation and it caused a lot of conflict but it's like you guys have moved on from that like y'all not you moved on, you're trying to live your life, you're trying to do whatever, and it's like out of this, you chose the path of motherhood. It's like a spiritual path of motherhood. So it's like your role is very vital. Like you have a very vital role in this child's life. Again, whether it's your child, or your masculine's child, okay? So it's starting to come together, starting to make sense to me. So you chose to take on that nurturing mother role of a child out of everything that you got going on. Yep, Page of Pentacles comes out. It's like you are in the process here. Yeah, Queen of Cups comes out in the reverse. Yep, this isn't, this is not your child, not your birth child. This is something, you know, that your masculine, your masculine went a different direction. Love is your lineage and gratitude is your religion. Oh, you are strong person, divine feminine. Yeah, Eight of Wands comes out. And the death card comes out. You ascend it. Um, definitely. It's a lot of communication that's coming in. You actually um, going to see like things are going to be moving fast. So things ended up moving fast. It was like very tumultuous is how I'm seeing it. But it's like you still commanded the storm. Things are still moving really pretty fast with this situation. And how I'm seeing it is like this was part of your transformation. It's like your your soul signed up for this, right? You probably like what the hell, right? <laughs> but yeah, in whatever way this is, it's like this was a part of your journey. This masculine's child, you took on a mother role to this child. Yep, Seven of Pentacles. You decided to invest in this child. Wow. Mm. I want to pull your masculine energy just to see, you know, their standpoint from it and how they feel about it. Um, so stay tuned for part two. I'm not even going to try to rush that in this video, y'all. All right. Peace.